What if all food was spicy? I am fucking really bad with spicy food. Well, we got two sides of the coin here. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm on. I'm on Chris's side. I am not a big spicy person. Or low spice. I always think I can handle more than I actually can, which is very little. Spicy food is great. I actually, um, say so, you know, my my wife is from Trinidad, and my mother in law gave me a. Um, so in, in Trinidad, they use these these scorpion peppers. They're just like these very spicy peppers and a lot of stuff. And my my mother in law gave me a package of salt. That is infused with scorpion pepper, and it is like the greatest thing ever. I made guacamole with it yesterday, and it was incredible. Oh my god! See, I I like the sensation of spice, but like, and I enjoy it like my first few bites of any spicy food. But it just builds and builds and builds, and I can't handle the building. Mm, I see. Yeah, after like like four or five bites, I'm just like, man, I I liked that flavor, but like I'm dying now, and now I can't eat anymore. <laughs> yeah. See, part of it, a lot of things that are spicy don't put enough sweetness in them to counteract it. That's something I've learned through cooking. Anyway, <laughs> hi, I cook things. Let's let's move oh, on. Oh, excuse me, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Um, but no, I am all for this hypothetical and try to enact it in my daily life as much as possible. Um. So, what food is the worst spice? To, the worst does to be food, spicy. Does food include drinks? Yes. Okay. What is the worst thing to be spicy? Milk, milk is yeah, pretty high up there. I was thinking actually. of milk. Well, actually, well, hold on. Milk is actually probably gonna be cool spicy because it naturally counteracts. It itself. naturally counteracts itself, so you'll taste the spice, but won't have any after after effect. That's actually pretty awesome. I kind of want to try some spicy milk. <laughs> Don't. I'm not going to. Don't worry. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. It's something that you could easily do. <laughs> it's something I have that salt. I could do it. <laughs> what is just not gonna be good spicy? See, everything. That's the answer. Boom. Done. Everything's really spicy. You guys can't even think of anything. <laughs> no, I'm thinking of a bunch. I'm just trying to think which one's the worst. I mean, it's all just like sweet stuff. But sweet and spicy is great. Sweet and spicy is an awesome combination. You ever had like like the um, spicy like Mexican chocolate or anything? I have. Oh my god, I would kill for that. It's so good. So the problem, actually, I think the problem is when you hit the point of, oh man, that was too spicy for me. There is no relief anywhere. Yeah, you're going to hit that eventually, no matter who you are. I think you can still drink spicy milk, and it would help. Well, if the milk's going to be spicy, it has to lean on the spicy side of the equation. Right. It can't counteract more spice than it has, then it's not it's spicy. It's net, well, net but, spicier. But, but the milk thing, it is something where it's actually like a chemical thing that makes let's get rid of the spice. It's not like it counteracts it with flavor like, like sugar does, right? So I think it still would strip the spice out of your mouth. But it's also still adding spice. And I think what we're saying is that it's... It has to add more spice than it strips. And it takes away, yeah. But I don't think... I'm trying to... I don't know how it would Whatever work. Whatever milk does the, to help, it has to undo it with spiciness. I mean, we define how spicy things are in this hypothetical, and I guess that's what we're saying. But I mean, like, like spice is like a chemical thing, though, right? Like, there is a a chemical, like... It's like capsaicin, right, is what it is that is spicy. Capsaicin? Capsaicin, yeah. So, like, the reason that milk works is that it, it, um, capsaicin, like, binds with the oils, like, or, like, in your saliva or whatever, and that's why you can't get out of your mouth, but milk breaks down that, that bind. It's, like, soluble with it. Yeah, and strips it out. So, So is milk just gonna be, like, the low-key spiciest thing, because it has to counteract its own unspiciness? Like... That's where, that's why I'm not sure, is that... Is milk just made of ghost peppers now? (laughs) Well, no, but, but, but I don't think it works that way, because I think that what would happen is that... I think it dissolves into the milk. Yeah, but then it, it can't, it still can't, like, bind in your mouth because of the milk. So I think it would taste spicy in the moment when you're drinking it, but not have any after effect. I might have to try this, actually. So it would net zero... No matter how much spice you put in it. It would still taste spicy. It just wouldn't have an after effect. Right, lasting effects. Yeah. So I think you'd still ben, use ben, spicy get, milk. Take some, get some scorpion milk. Make some <laughs> scorpion milk. Um, and then drink it on our behind the scenes episode. And we'll, and we'll live stream your experience. <laughs> I will actually do this. I actually agree yes. with this. Yeah. <laughs> I also want to Google. I'm, I can guarantee that scorpion milk is some sort of like workout supplement or something. Give me a second. I'm putting it. On, I'm putting it on our behind the scenes structure right now, um, so that we don't forget it. <laughs> oh, this is our hook for I'm this. Not sure. This time, damn it. Behind the scenes, listen to uh, Ben drink spicy milk. That was a clip from Absurd Hypotheticals, the podcast where we answer dumb hypothetical questions. For the full episode, click on the link in the description.